Hello guys, Making Magic here, and I know it's been quite a while since I uploaded my last video, but here I am today uh, showing you my uh, next creation. Uh, I created a simple pass lock uh, safe system that you can implement in your game. It's basically a safe, fully working. Uh, that needs a passcode to be breaking in. You can use it, I know, like in a game like Payday or something if you're creating something like that. And it's completely free and it works perfectly. And I'll be explaining to you anything, any questions you have uh, about safe. I'll be, of course, solving if that's the case. And yeah, let's just get into the package. It's a package and it's free. Uh, you can upload, download it in media file. I'll be including the link. So when you get the package, it should look something like this, an icon like this, and you should just double click, it, double click it, and it will open it up. The import uh, window in a in your um, project. So hit import, of course, and uh, just ignore this. And this is what you'll get. You get a folder that's called Safe Lock System. Uh, we'll leave these components alone for a moment and we'll just go to the scene to show how the safe looks like if it's just in a scene that's just a camera and safe. Just double click this icon over here, it's a bit bigger than this one here. And just, I'm not gonna save it. And you can play the scene, but first we're gonna do a few things, okay? What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to our safe object. And we're gonna go to Safe Manager. This is the script that interacts with the entire system. This is basically the system. It's a 200 lines code. I made it in an hour or so, but first I needed to do some research how to make it. Uh, the first thought I, the first idea was to use flows, but then I, uh, it came to mind that I could use strings. So I used strings for the code. So and it's very easy. Basically, if the string is uh, the string over here if code if uh, this is basically if inputs if the string input is the same as uh, code string over here it basically unlocks the safe and uh, I ma I maximized the the length of the string with max string over here you can just I did this in um what is it where is it uh as you can see if you input the land uh is more than max string which is here four then uh input equals uh nothing basically so the string just writes nothing. Okay, I'll be explaining the script if you want to, but in another tutorial today I'll be just show you how to set the safe in a first person game, because that's basically probably what you want. But first let me show you how it works. Now in the safe manager you just have to apply the code text over here under the canvas. It's mostly, it's not applied, so just apply it. And when you play the game, you should, uh, you can use the numpad to type numbers. And as you can see, it blinks red. If you type the right code, which is 3639, uh, it will uh, open. So let me just 3639, a simple animation. Text is green and the safe opens. Okay, so that's it. Uh, now uh, you want this probably to implement in your scene, which you have first person controller. So what we're gonna do. I've taken care of that too with a simple script. If you want something a bit complex, I'll be updating the package in a few days and I'll be adding some right casting to make it a bit more complex. So let me just create a file, new scene. We're gonna go game object, 3D object, plane. Uh, probably you'll have a first person controller here. I won't be doing anything special. I'll just be throwing some uh, lightning over here. Game object, uh, light. Directional light just to make it a bit more, you know. And we're gonna go window lightning. I have it. 
I'm basically blind, but unless I'll be, I'm just dropping this on this uh, background skybox that I included. Nothing too fancy. <laughs> and I'll be adding some material to it. Now you can import FPS controller if you don't have it under the assets. Import package and uh, characters. But I have it over here, so I'll be just typing in FPS, and here it is my FPS controller. Just add it in, and now you can go to your safe lock system. But I'll be making a cube for the safe to stand on, so just it doesn't look so dull. And also, we're gonna need this for another thing. Uh, this script I, that's gonna trigger the safe is very, very simple. It uses, uh, when it uses, uh, it uses the box collider to trigger, to trigger the safe uh, system. I'm just gonna, so I'm gonna duplicate this cube and, um, I'm gonna rename it trigger, just gonna go to inspector. Here we go. And trigger cube. Huh, even better. I'm gonna tick off mesh render and box collider is trigger. Okay, perfect. Gonna resize it a bit. So it's a bit bigger. Bigger area, you know. And now I'm gonna add a script that I have here that's called Trig. I'm not gonna explain, even try to explain the script because it's so simple. Basically, if we enter the collider and if the tag of the uh, object that enters the collider is player, the object that will be setting to active will be set to active, and if we execute the collider, the object will be set to false. And this object basically is the object that controls uh, the safe. So we're gonna add the safe. We have a uh, we have safe object over here, and it's a bit big as you can see, but we'll be adding it and a canvas too, uh, because we have the text. It's gonna be here. Okay, so I have safe object. We're gonna resize the safe object and just add it over here. Okay, here it is. Just something to stand on, you know. I'm gonna add this brown material to this to our cube, <laughs> just to make it a bit, a bit more, a bit prettier, you know. Uh, you can add whatever material you want, and uh, a few minor details we're gonna do here. We're gonna go to safe object, and gonna go under door and cube zero two. I know that by hard it's this one and we're gonna paint it black to make it a bit nice look nice looking and now we're gonna go to canvas make sure the canvas is set to world space not screen space if it's gonna mess with you and go to code where the heck is code I'm gonna type something into to just to oh here it is. I'm gonna drag it. I'm gonna just drag the code to make it zero zero so it I'm gonna reset it the position so it it's not gonna mess with us too much. I'm just gonna set it up here. And just gonna drag it under canvas again then, because it doesn't work if it's uh, not under canvas. So this is just for resetting the position, you know. Just to drag it. You have to do that because otherwise it won't work. And uh, if the canvas canvas is a child of safe object, it sometimes works. Real funny, it uh, doesn't work well. 
and um, well I'm gonna resize it a bit again then and then delete uh, the text inside so yeah the code has to be under canvas uh, code I put code under the safe object just for a brief moment to reset the position and then put it back to canvas note that that it's very important uh, and so uh, the cube controller trigger cube uh, the object that will be putting under his under object over here is safe manager so just put that into and uh, just put that on that field and now we can play so make sure the object that you want to trigger this safe is tagged player so FPS controller as you can see it's not tagged player just tag player and now we can go and test it out okay I don't know why it's not working oh of course what we forgot to do safe manager as you can see text is not is not on the field over here so add code to text yes it does that sometimes I told you before and uh, yes now it should work oh as you can see it works perfectly and the code is 3639 and it opens what we have in the safe as you can see it's very dark but this is just a material uh, if you go to scene and but uh, there isn't uh, the interior so you can put stuff inside like I don't know something Okay, I'm gonna add shadows a bit, but there is an the interior. Okay, uh, uh, so yeah, that was the tutorial on how to set it up uh, for a first person game, and yeah, I hope you liked uh, my. Uh, my project, my uh, my one hour project, my uh, of course my package. If you want it, you can download it. I don't have anything from that. I don't get any money if you download the package. So it's up to you if you want to have this package. It's completely free and it's not on Unity Store. So it's on Mediafire. It's for f it's free sharing. You don't have to log in or anything. Just download it. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a like, comment, share anything you want. Bye.